Greetings to you in our series of lessons on novels. We are going to be discussing another novel today. We will start uh, studying the novel titled Erasima by Jose de Alenka. Today we are going to be discussing the plot summary and analysis and in our subsequent videos we are going to be discussing the characters, characterization, the central themes in the novel and the literary devices used in the novel as well. But today we will be focusing on the plot, summary and analysis of the novel. The novel is written by Joseph D. Alenka and the story revolves around two major characters which is Martins and uh, Irasema. And the love relationship between the two is explored in the novel. And we see that uh, uh, Irasema is a Tabajara indigenous woman and uh, Martin is a Portuguese colonist who allied with the enemies of the Tabajaras, uh, the Pitiguaras. And at the beginning of the novel, we saw that uh, Urasema was going home with the son of, uh, sorry, um, Martin was going home with the son of Urasema at the beginning of the novel. The novel is a flashback. Uh, the end of it uh, starts from the beginning of the novel. And we saw that uh, the relationship between Urasema and Martin was a good one, though the father of Irasema do not agree with the relationship and uh, he gives a lot of reasons because Martin was aligning with the enemies of the Tabajara kingdom. So giving his daughter to somebody who is supporting the enemy is not a good view to the father of Irasema. The father of Irasema is called Araquen. And uh, he is the spiritual leader of the Tabajaras nation. And then there are other major characters. There are other characters in the novel which are not major, like uh, Adira, who is uh, a brother of the uh, Irasema's father. And then we have others, like Irasema's brother, which is called Kobe. And um, we have another one, like uh, Jakuna, who is a Poti's uh, brother. And several other minor characters in the novel. So at the beginning, we saw that um, uh, Martin was going home with the son of uh, Irasema. And you may be wondering what really happened to Irasema in the course of the story. You will understand. Irasema um, eloped with Martin. And then after eloping with Martin, the relationship was good. And Irasema was planning a good future with Martin. Unfortunately, Irasema was also dumped by Martin again. Now, Irasema has created uh, a strange relationship between herself and her family because the family was opposed to the relationship, or opposed to her love relationship with Martin. And um, Martin, which all oh, Irasema's hope is hinged on, also disappointed Irasema after Irasema got pregnant and uh, he left Irasema to her fate. And we saw that the, the story unfolds in, uh, in a retrospect, in the form of flashback, um, telling us what happened before Mate uh, have to travel with the son of Irasema. And then we saw also that uh, Irasema, who is the young woman, uh, also towards the beginning, at the beginning of the novel, also shot an arrow at a white man. Uh, um, then the white man happens to be Martin. And then we saw that uh, he refrained from attacking her. And then um, uh, she quickly repented of her action. Because why did the white man shoot the arrow? We also saw that, uh, as I said earlier, that uh, Martin was part of the enemies of the Tabajara nation and we saw that uh, Irasema's father also was not so comfortable with the relationship so when 
Martin Farsi, when um, the brother of uh, Erasmus Farsi's Martin, he mistake him for one of the Frenchmen who were living among the Tabajara. So, and then Tabajara were living in Ibiapa, Ibiapa Bahis. So Martin informs the brother that he is not a French, and then he has been living with the uh, Portigara, which were the uh, traditional enemies of the Tabajara nation. And they were not friends because of uh, tribal differences, and uh, the issue of land also was part of the problems that uh, the Tabajara had with the Portiguras. So we saw that um, uh, Martin was uh, uh, unwillingly welcomed and then we saw that uh, he was uh, at the beginning accepted not because of his uh, relationship between relationship to the um, to the Aputigaras uh, but as a result of his friendship uh, with uh, Irasima. So we saw that shortly when the relationship was not uh, the family was not comfortable with the relationship. Martin have to run away uh, with uh, um, with Rasima, and then when Rasima was pregnant, he left Rasima, and Rasima have no much to do. She was crying, and then at the point she was so disappointed that she regretted having any affair with uh, uh, Martin, and then uh, she decided to uh, take her life up but because of the uh, depression and what happened to her and then after giving birth to a child uh, it lost her life so when she lost her life it was unfortunate that uh, Irasema died though Martin also felt sorry for the death of Irasema but at the same time was not so comfortable uh, with uh, uh, Erasim again, he decided to live his life in another way. So Erasim realizes that uh, she is in love with a stranger, but being in love with a stranger who is a Portuguese warrior um, is not a good uh, one to the father and to the entire Tabajara nation. So we saw that uh, uh, when she discovered that she is in love with a Portuguese warrior, uh, Martin offers to stay among the Tabajara to make her happy. Then she informs him that uh, she informs Martin that uh, she must remain um, a virgin and keep the secret of the Jurema for her tribe, and that it is in his best interest to avoid her company so that nothing will lead to sexual affair. So we saw that uh, Irasema even quoted like the brave that shall possess the virgin of Tuba we die. So they agree that he must leave, but when he tries to do so, he and Kobe, his guide, run into Irafwa, and we saw some warriors who are determined to kill Martin. So what happened to Martin? A battle ensued, and before long, the Tabajara hear the war cry of the Putgiras, and then they rush to fend off the enemy. And we saw that Martin and Irasema escaped to Arakins, dwelling and then what happened they trade we are trade by the Irafans and uh, uh, the Irafans suspected that uh, the war cry was somehow employed by Irasima to distract the warriors and then uh, Irafuma accuses uh, Irasima in front of her father and having given up her sacred virginity to Martin he hopes that Martin we die for this. But Arakin stated that uh, if the accusation is still there, Irasema must die, not Martin. But Martin, however, is a guest of the god, Topan, and will not be harmed. And being a guest who do not know much about the tradition of the people, Irasema, who knows the dangers of losing her virginity before marriage, still engaged in such art, should be the one that uh, should face the consequence of it. And then we saw that uh, in the night, they hear the song of the seagull, which Martin knows is the actual war cry of Poti himself. Then Irasema rejoices that Martin is to be saved from the Tabajara, who are waiting outside the protection of Arakin's dwelling to kill him. 
and also we saw that uh, Mati also vow not to warn her people that Potty is nearby. And then Irasima goes out alone to call to Potty on Mati's behalf and arranges his rescue and later leads Mati out of the dwelling via a secret cave. And it is a cave in which Araki manipulates the wind to sound like the voice of the god Topa, which he fortuitously does at this junction. All was an attempt to rescue Mate and then to deceive the people. And we also saw that uh, some drunken warriors arrive at the door, but here the royal of Topa now retreat. Thereafter, Iratema and Mate meet Potty in the subterranean cave and arrange for Mate to escape during the moon of flowers celebration, in which the Tabajara warriors all drink Jurema and dream. And when they return to the dwelling, Irasema again give Martin some Jurema to reduce his sadness in leaving her. This time, however, as she alone knows, she does not shrug off his embrace. Then we saw that Tompa no longer owns his virginity in the Tabajara land. And then when it is time for Irasema to leave, Martin safely with order on the threshold of Tabajara land. Then she refuses and claims that uh, Topa has released her from service because she betrayed the secret of the Jurema. And because Martin's blood live in bosom, Martin is upset, but uh, Martin is upset, but allow her to come along almost immediately. However, his love for her overcomes him, and then they begin their lives as husband and wife. The next day, Rasema proved her devotion by shooting her own brother, Kobe, who is among the band of Tabajara pursuing the fugitive. And Rasema killed his brother, younger brother, to Kobe, and then the Tabajara are rooted by the Portuguese, and Martin and Rasema settle down with Chief Jakuna. Until the burden of living among her people's enemy become too much to bear. Then, accompanied by Potty, we saw Martin and Urasema build a new home for themselves on the coastal site that Martin believes will be good for Portuguese settlement. Then, he keeps this ambition from Urasema, who four months later revealed a joyful Martin that she is pregnant. And what happened? His joy winder when dissipate and when he sees in the distance say like those of Portuguese chief along for home, Martin tell Potty that he has seen friendship. After which Potty learns that uh, Irapua and the French are on the move and that Chief Yakuna is calling for help. So Martin and Potty depart at once without informing Irasema. Instead, they leave her a sign and return to her after the battle. So, in which the Portuguese were victorious. So, we saw that Martin is content with her for a few short days. But when his ambition and homesickness resurfaces, his love withers. He considers returning to Portugal. But he realizes that Irasema will want to go with him, which will be unfair to her since. She would be alienated there and could not take much comfort in his winding love. Meanwhile, we saw that Rasama realizes that Martin is no longer happy with her and tells him that uh, she will die as soon as their child is born. Free Martin to return home. So this statement elicits a harsh and bitter kiss from Martin. But we see that. Uh, Mark Chase was, comfy, was comfortable with the statement so that since Martin is not comfortable going to his homeland with Erasima, then he has to go with Erasima's child so that Erasima will die and free Martin. And at the end of it, Erasima gave birth to a child, then lost her life, and Martin travel away with the son of Irasema and 
the novel ends there so in our subsequent discussion we are going to look at the characters especially the the two major characters irasima and uh, martins another character like the son of irasima the father of irasima and the even the society and some other characters also who do not play major role like jatoba like uh, uh, Mokit, like Poti, and then like uh, Irapua, who is the warrior leader of the Tabajara nation. And then we have Kobe, who is Irasema's brother. We are going to be discussing and analyzing the roles each of the characters play in our subsequent uh, video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you will be uh, updated and notified when we upload another video. Ten.